Hi Cancer, this is going to be your May 2019 couples reading. If I sound really tired or anything like that, it's because I have a really bad sore throat, so I'm so sorry. But uh, every other part of me is fine and I can channel, so we're going to continue on with this reading. It's going to be the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for Cancer signs. Look at how cute this little heart is. Um, okay, so let's begin. Also want to mention if you'd like to win a private reading for free, winning one, then it's all going to be in the description box of this video. If you would like to purchase a private reading, since only one person is going to win in the month, and I obviously put out so many May videos, um, then uh, all the information is going to be down there as well as other services, my bracelets which are on Etsy, which are intention bracelets, which are great for gifts, but again, you know, uh, you can check those out if you want to, you don't have to, but let's get started with your reading. So, Cancer Couples, whether you're a cancer in a couple uh, with someone else or whether you are in a couple relationship with a cancer or whether you're cancer with a cancer or you're cross-watching for a cancer who is in a relationship whew, <laughs> um, that is absolutely fine just make sure you do check out the other sign videos as well so if this is for your son then make sure you check out you know perhaps your moon or rising if this doesn't 100% resonate with you because Every reading essentially gives out a different message, and these are general readings, so it's going to hit a certain target audience of cancers, perhaps not all of them. All right. Let's see. First card here is the Two of Cups. This is your energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, water energy, <laughs> your energy, emotionally feeling very content. Things are very mutual. We have the Seven of Swords here, so let's pull the rest of the cards out because I am seeing there's quite a bit of love in between both of you. Let's see what other messages we are getting. Queen of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. That Seven of Swords is this kind of energy because I'm feeling that there's a lot of love between the two of you. There's, there's a lot of mutualness. It's almost like someone here is doubting and I feel like this person could be you. You're doubting whether this person is going to cheat on you, betray you, lie to you, be dishonest. It's that feeling. It's that energy of what if. Now, I'm going to say I do not believe this person will do this to you. I feel like this is out of insecurity. I feel this person is very genuine in their feelings, very genuine in their offering. They want to work very hard on this relationship. They want to nourish the relationship, give it feeding ground, but also they just have lots of ideas, they're very passionate about it, so whatever this fear is, it needs to be tamed, because this kind of energy can essentially ruin things, so this is a, a very important message from the guides, stay out of this energy, because I'm seeing this person is a good person, now obviously this is going to resonate with a small amount of cancer, it's not necessarily everyone, so you must intuitively know whether this person has good intent or not but I'm seeing a lot of you being very very confused but I see that intuitively you will know that this person is good for you it's just there's that little doubt now if they're lying to you cheating to you and showing that in their actions this person is no good for you but I'm seeing for a lot of you um, they show really good intent so the fire energy here is about showing it's about action so they really do want to be with you, they show that with emotion, they show that with the hard work they put in, but still, somehow, you doubt it. So this is through actions. You have seen their actions, don't doubt it, okay? But if it's someone that is genuinely just betraying you all the time, this person is not for you, okay? Just must clear that up. This person is an action taker and they show a lot through their actions. And also their emotions as well. This person wants to really move forward with you. Victory and success, progress and potential. They really want to make moves with you. Look at that. It's about this conflict that's brewing in your mind. Now, fives and tower are all about changes. Five of wands is about confusion, not knowing. This is the right person for you. But we also see growth here because through their actions, we go from the five to the six. They prove to you with their actions that, yes, they are a good person to be with. Okay, so all of these doubts you have are going to get wiped away with the action that they put forward. Because fives and tower are all about change. There's this energy here, this three of swords energy. What if they betray you? What if? What if? It's that what if energy. I'm not seeing this person betraying you, but I am seeing this what if they break your heart? What if they betray you? You're going to be getting an answer to that. The ace of wands is about an offering. Again, it's about them. <laughs> wow. It's about them 
giving you that signal. It's action. The ones in tarot are about action. So they're going to be proving to you why they are worthy of your love. You will, you know, you're doubting things a lot with this particular person. Do not doubt them because they're going to prove with their actions that it is worth trusting them. They think of you as the empress. They think that you're kind, caring, nurturing, the right person for them. You know, this mother energy, whether you're male or female, remember there's no genders in tarot, but they just feel like there's a lot of growth around you, there's a lot of happiness, a lot of positivity, a lot of good energy, but for some reason you need to get out of this energy. of the seven of swords, the five of wands, and the three of swords. This person is going to try and prove themselves to you with action. And that is with this ace of wands card that I'm seeing. They're willing to put in hard work. They're willing to nourish this relationship. They're willing to give, you know, that emotional support to you as well. Um, there's a lot of grounding energy in this particular card. So whatever your doubts are, I am seeing that they're going to get wiped away. Remember, don't force this reading upon yourself if you're genuinely with someone who is currently, or sorry, is, is always breaking your heart or currently breaking your heart. This person is someone that is not going to do that. So essentially, it's just these doubts that I see that are playing in your mind as to whether this person is going to break your heart. I don't see that they will. So Cancer, this is your reading. Trust. And uh, also you will know in your gut if this is, you know, if this is resonating with you. As I mentioned, there's lots of signs to look out for. This is about being in your state of mind. This is not about them betraying you, hurting you. It's about your mindset. Um, because I do see that they're going to put forward a lot of action towards you. So, uh, Council that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below. Um, and also check out the description box below. My laptop is overheating, so I'm so sorry about that. But um, yeah, make sure you check out the description box for all of the information on the free reading, the private readings, and the other services, my bracelets. Uh, thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!